let the plane go over. <laughs> okay. All right, this is the fourth video in the series on circle theorems. Uh, this particular circle theorem involves something called the alternate segment. There's about, um, well, there's six of them, and four of them are in common use. But this particular question is pitched at a star at GCSE. And what you've given is uh, only some fairly small bits of information. You've got a circle with a triangle in it, and... Also, to this triangle, there's actually a tangent. And the two angles that you're given is that this is 65 degrees and this is 53 degrees. And what we're being asked to do is to find this value here, which is value of x. OK, um, one of the things with these types of questions is that sometimes it's, it's a lot easier, I think at least, to redraw them and just draw them with the information that you've got rather than the P, Q's and R's and T's and all that sort of stuff that they put on these types of questions. Um, I think it's just nice to have it nice and plain like that because hopefully it will give you an idea of what we need to find out. Well, one of the things that uh, we can use is this um, 65 degrees and this this theorem this alternate segment theorem says that this angle and this angle is the same so this is also 65 degrees okay well if this is 65 degrees and this is 53 then that's great because we've got a, a triangle and as we know the internal angles of a triangle add up to 180 so what it's going to allow me to do is to find this little bit in the middle and then once I've got that, and I know that, I can just take that away from the 180 degrees of a straight line, and that'll give me the value of x. So let's have a go at that. So I'm going to find out now, we'll call it A, this one in the middle here. So what we've got is a triangle, um, like that. This is A, and at the moment we know this is 53, and we know this is 65 degrees. Okay, I hope that's come across all right on the board. Okay, so that's 53 degrees there. Okay, so um, internal angles add up to 180. So I've got um, 65 plus 53. Well, if I add those two together, I'm going to get 118, which means that if I take that 118 away from 180, it's going to give me uh, 62. So therefore, I know now that this angle A is 62 degrees, which means this angle here is 62 degrees. Well, that's brilliant because I can use that information now that will allow me now to work out the value of x. So what I've got is um, 62 plus 65, and I take that away from 180. So I've got 180. No, I'm not. I've got 62 plus 65, and 62 plus 65 is 5, 7, 127. So those two angles added together, I've got this kind of thing. This is x, and these two angles added together is 127 degrees. Well, that's great. I just take that away from 180. So 180 take away 127 is going to give me 53 degrees. So I know this value of x in here must be 53 degrees. So in answer to the question, this value here would be 53, like that. Um, I hope that's okay for you. Bear in mind this is an A, a star type level, and I appreciate that it's not annotated, it's just drawn freehand on the board. Uh, but hopefully it will give you an indication of how to solve some of these questions. Please do add a comment at the end if you're not sure. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.